We are looking at another teaching video, this time differentiation using the quotient rule. When you get a function like this, y equals u over v. Now that expression there is a quotient, u over v. And you notice that I've defined this way, u and v are functions of x. So when we write dy over dx, we are referring to differentiating this equation with the expression u over v. And these two functions are in terms of x. So the way we write it is, it's longer than the chain rule and the product rule. The denominator expression v multiplied to the numerator expression differentiated, you get du over dx minus, you keep the u, multiply to the differentiation of your denominator expression, which is dv over dx. The whole expression here over the denominator expression squared. The whole concept up here is when you keep this, differentiate this, then keep this, differentiate that. But it's separated by a minus. Next, you're just given an algebraic expression, but it's an algebraic fraction here. So, you will not write dy over dx, but you write d over dx of this expression. So try to recall what we have gone through. It is important to let it stick in your mind. So we take the denominator expression, multiply to the differentiation of your u function, minus u multiply to the differentiation of the denominator expression. The whole expression here over v squared. I give you an alternative form. So instead of this, u over v, now I've changed the expression slightly differently, u times 1 over v. So when we write this, we can actually consider the product rule. So this is very much like your product rule where you have a function multiplied to another function. So sometimes when you think about quotient rule, you don't feel quite comfortable with it. You can switch back to product rule. This is how you do it. First, we keep this. Then we differentiate this function. So we have d over the x bracket 1 over v plus this expression will not change but I will differentiate u so du over dx so you can see it is very much up to you whether you want to stick to the quotient rule or somehow you manipulate the expression slightly so that you can use the product rule. There are many types of questions that you can uh, adopt 
the quotient rule for differentiation. You may have this kind. Y equals x plus 1 over 2x minus 1. This expression is a quotient. You have a numerator divided by a denominator. Or you can have something more complicated like this. Cos bracket 4x divided by ln bracket 1 over x. So the important thing is, with this expression, you must be able to see the u function, the v function. As well as this here, you can see the u function and v function. So, another point to note is that both these functions must be in terms of x or in terms of the same variable. So for this section, that's all.